Good morning, everybody. This is Hermita Cancer Free 200, and I don't know what day it is, but it is almost 4.30. This is like the third time I made this video, and my computer kept cutting off, pissing me off. But anyways, i um, sitting here having my coffee, and um, thought I'd make a video before um, everybody starts waking up, and I start having to make breakfast, and then my day is uh, busy. But um, anyways, y'all know that I have been trying to uh, do... Um, let me move. Set this right. It looks crooked. There we go. Um, have a um, plastic surgery, and I thought, you know what? What the hell? I'm gonna try um, and uh, see what happens. You know. So, anyways, I did my three visits because my insurance, which is Tricare, said I had to do three visits with the doctor, and so we drove four hours to the doctor three times every month for three months. And so anyways, they submitted my, my stuff to um, TRICARE and they had told me if you receive a letter, it's been denied. And um, if I if they accepted it, then they will let the doctor know first. So, okay. So no call for two weeks. And I waited, I waited, I kept checking my messages. Well, uh, I kept thinking, no, oh, they're gonna deny me, they're gonna deny me. So uh, I get the mail yesterday and I get a letter. So. And so I was denied, but I wasn't denied because um, I didn't have, you know, the excess skin or uh, for any reason. I was denied because of the funds. So, uh, you know, it, it wasn't such a big deal. You know, I kind of um, thought I would be more upset, but I'm really not. It's just not. Uh, I mean, I could resubmit, you know, and have my doctor write a letter and do all this stuff. But you know what? I'm not going to do that. My husband was like, well, you know, when the economy gets a little better, if it gets any better, then uh, we'll submit it again, you know, and see. But, you know, it's just not, it just wasn't, I kind of was like, okay, well, hell, I was denied. Now I just, you know, I, I don't have that much excess skin. So, um, I mean, I do have some. But um, it's not a hindrance. It's not in the way. It's not hanging real low. It could be something that can be controlled with Spanx. Thank God for Spanx. Mm. So um, I'm going to join the gym, which I had been wanting to do because um, Gold's Gym is just right down the street. I mean, it's walking distance. I could probably be there in two, three minutes, maybe three or four minutes. I say. Pretty close. And uh, But I don't want to join it yet because um, we have a meet and greet coming up. And I'm excited. I can't wait. And then um, when I get back from the meet and greet, uh, which will be around... Uh, I don't know, 24th or something like that. I think I come back from Connie's because I'm riding with Connie and them. And um, I go to Sacramento for a whole month. So I don't want to pay for a membership and then not use it. So when I come back, which will be uh, July 3rd, I will um, join the gym. So uh, I'm kind of excited because my granddaughter joined it too so that way we can work out together and, you know kind of easier when you have somebody to go with you to push each other you know it's been real hard it's been real hard these last um probably half a year you know i mean i've had we've had so many losses in the family the last year or so and uh it's been really difficult to um to get in the mindset of working out you know um just so much stuff has been on my my head and um, you know, me and Angie talk quite a bit and, uh, our family is still going through some rough times. So, um, but, uh, uh, I don't want to get into too much, but, um, it's just been hard. So exercising, uh, I have to get in that mindset again of doing something for myself. You know, it's been such a long time since I did anything for me. Um, the doctor had told me, it's funny because I, I went to my oncologist and I boohooed like a damn baby when he asked me how I was doing. But um, he, you know, when he asked me what do I do for myself and I could not think of anything of what I, you know, what do I do for me? And it's been years since I've done anything for me. And that's pretty damn sad. I think the last thing I did was probably had the surgery was for me. But um, I just haven't done anything. So I'm going to join the gym and I'm going to work out because I do sleep better and I do feel better. It's just getting my ass there. That's that's the hard thing, you know. Once I'm there, I'm cool. It's just getting from A to B, you know. And I, I wish I had a mind like um, some people that, you know, had that 
get gung ho attitude about working out and oh man, I'm gonna work out for five damn hours or whatever. That's not me. That's not me. I wish it was. I wish it was. But um it takes a lot for me to get up and get myself onto a treadmill. And the treadmill's right here. Look, I can show y'all. Treadmill's right there. But to stop what I'm doing, which is cleaning, cooking, getting stuff ready, uh, going to my grandson's school, because he acts up in school sometimes. So um, I started showing up at his school and uh, sitting in the back, sitting in the back with him and making sure his little ass acts right. Because sometimes he gets a little, uh, I don't know what it is. Medicine don't kick in. I don't know. But a teacher says that, you know, he don't want to... Um, do no work. Well, you know what? Then I will sit my ass in the back of the class and watch you. So I've been doing that. Take my papers in there, write in my journal, uh, do, do you know, play on my phone or whatever. But at least he knows I'm there, you know. But anyway. So lately what I've been doing, because I go to his school at different times because he's he's smart. He knows. He's like, oh, 2 o'clock, Grandma will be here. No, well, I'll show up at 9 o'clock. You know, 11 o'clock, different times. So he he never knows. And it's so funny because I walk in the room and all the kids are like, ooh, you know. And I just sit in the back. And then I, I leave. I, I stay an hour sometimes, you know, a couple hours. But anyways, um, so in, when I drop them off for school, I come home and I've been working out, you know. So what I'm going to start doing is dropping them off to school, driving over there to uh, Gold's Gym and working out. And I really like the sauna. So I'm looking forward to sitting in the sauna. And, um... Then coming home and doing it for myself. I think I deserve an hour, hour and a half for me, you know. Um, so anyways, about the surgery, I'm not too depressed about it. Uh, I just will have to, um, you know, do a lot of crunches, you know. And like I said, it's nothing that Spanx won't hold in. So, you know, I'll, I'll be okay. So I'm excited about the meet and greet coming up. I'm excited about Sacramento that I'm going to be going to. So if anybody's in Sacramento and want to get together, let me know. We can meet up somewhere. Uh, I don't drive in Sacramento because it is too damn big for me. And I don't like to drive in the big city, but um, I'll get there somehow. I'll have my niece drop me off or my sister or, or my goddaughter or somebody. So um, let me know. Maybe we could all get together and have a little mini, mini meet and greet. Um, hopefully I can see um, Rosemary because she's not far from there and I think we're going to try to get together. Um, we'll see. But anyways, I'm excited about the meet and greet. Uh, I don't know. I'm not too excited about that long ride, but I'm going to be driving with Connie and Alfred and uh, I think we'll have a lot to talk about and, and laugh and you know, because I just love Connie and Alfred. They are the best. Um, she is my sister from another mystic. But uh Anyways, I better get off here and um, sit down, drink my coffee, and chill out before everybody wakes up. So, anyways, peace out, guys. I will see y'all soon, um, but in a month maybe, at the meet greet. Bye.